In this video, we're gonna look at creating some patterns using the step sequencer. Now, by default, we have one bar here and we're working in pattern one, as you can see up here, and we're in pattern mode by virtue of this button being enabled. So basically we have 16 steps divided into 16th notes for four beats. So I'm gonna start with something really basic. I'll put a kick on the downbeat of each one. I'll maybe put a little extra one right before over here. And I'll put one of the additional kicks there. And this may or may not work, but we'll see. And I'll just start with a kick on, or snare rather on two and four, and put some of these short little percussive egg sounds. Oops, not that. You can right click to get rid of steps. So right click will erase. And I'll put some of these sort of overlapping a bit like that. And let's listen. We can use this button to audition the pattern. So that's working nicely. We can also just use the space bar or we can use this play button. We can adjust the tempo over here. Or maybe I'll slow it down a little bit. And this is a global volume control, but I'll leave it up near the top there. And of course we can always right click and go reset to snap it back to Unity. And if I wanna name this pattern, I can right click on here and I can rename and color. So let me call it Drums01 and I can give it a color from this palette over here and just hit return or enter and we're good. And we can add a swing offset here. So let's listen and add some swing. All right, that's sounding nice. Now, if I wanna create some additional patterns, I can use the plus button to create a new blank one but I can also right click here and go clone if I wanna make a duplicate of this and just vary maybe a couple of hits. But let's start by creating a new one from scratch and you'll see there right away I'm prompted to name it. So I think I'll call it drums 02 and I'll give it a color since I'm here. Let's give it a different color and we can start. So let's start by using this kick a little more. Again, I'll just do some different patterns here. I'm gonna erase this one. And let's put one of these sounds in, which is kind of a little bit like a snare. I'll put this in. And again, some of these on different steps. And let's listen. Let's put one of these effects in. All right, that's sounding nice. We have the same swing factor here. So we can continue and build up a library of step sequences by additionally using patterns like that. Let me just cancel that for the moment and we'll go back. And we can see our two patterns over here that we've done. And we can use this button over here to get a quick little overview of what it looks like in the piano roll type of graphic interface for editing it. And we can, of course, get back to the step sequencer. Now let's say I am gonna create one more pattern and Let's go to pattern three, and I'll make this a two bar drum pattern. So I'll give this one a unique color as well. And just to show you how it works with the lengths, we can just pull this out and add in as much as we want. So I'll maybe add in another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'll add one more beat so we get two full bars. There we go. And let's. Add in some beats here. And just by clicking in the new field, we're gonna get them activated. We'll start with some two and four. You can see the different shadings where the different groups of beats start. Again, just some random beats over here should work nicely. And let's listen to that. So quite different than one of the other beats that I've done, which we may or may not like, but let's add one of these in. That makes it a little more interesting. So now I've got a palette of three different patterns that have been created, and I'm gonna end off here and we'll continue looking at working with these in the next video.